guys, I'm Mike, and this is Novatech. And today, I'm back again with yet another case review for your HTC One M8. This time around, we're taking a look at the Dual Pro Shine by Incipio. It's a perennial option for many phone owners, as each year Incipio offers a new version of this case for a variety of phones. And right off the bat, I'm going to say that it's one of the most improved cases I've seen when compared to its previous models. The Dual Pro Shine gets its name from its dual layer design and sleek semi-reflective surface. The case's inner layer is made from a shock-absorbing TPU, while the outer shell is constructed of Incipio's signature blend of polycarbonate they call Plextonium, which is supposed to offer better drop and scratch resistance. Here's a look at last year's Dual Pro Shine for the HTC One M7. As I pull it out and mess around with the inside layer, you can see that it's extremely flexible. That's because Incipio, like many other case makers, used to use a softer silicone in years past. But like many of those case makers, switched to the stiffer, more durable TPU option with the most recent iterations. The more rugged TPU holds up better to wear and tear, retains its shape, and fits more snugly. It also won't attract lint like the softer silicone, making it a good move in my opinion. Looking at the other piece that makes up this case, the outer shell, when compared to last year's, has lost a little bit of its luster. That's not such a bad thing for two reasons. You can see some of the areas of the older case, which are only used a few times, are a bit scuffed up. The M8's case, which already has gotten more use, has no visible scratches. Now I've had this case for a few phones over the years, because I've always liked the way it looked in pictures. But in person, I noticed that the sheen and color wasn't always what I was expecting. Instead of the silver color portrayed in the ad, to me it looked a bit more like the color of titanium. With the new model, that tint is gone, and it more resembles the brushed metal look I was expecting. The case itself is fairly easy to put on, though the raised Incipio branding on the back is a bit of a pain because it needs to sit flush within the cutout provided. The best method I've found is to pop the phone in with the two layers already together. You'll have a hell of a time trying to slide the outer shell on if you don't do it this way. You're also more likely to snap a corner of the plastic if you're installing the pieces separately. Taking a look along the side of the case, we see the buttons for the volume rocker. They're a bit stiffer than I would have liked thanks to the harder TPU, so a little more effort is needed when pressing them. Openings for your micro SD card, duo camera, charging port, and headphone jack are perfectly aligned and provide plenty of space. You can see the depth of the case and level of drop protection you're getting when looking at the cutout for the main camera. It is worth pointing out that the case adds a good amount of weight to your phone, but if you're looking for one that's going to complement your M8 by carrying on its design language, the Incipio Dual Pro Shine does just that. Maybe more than any other case I've reviewed, this one strikes a nice balance between beauty, protection, and corresponding style to the phone it was built for. If you can deal with the added bulk, then this case may be a good option for you. I'd recommend it to anyone who values protection above all, but still appreciates industrial style. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Till next time, I'm Mike, and this was Novatech. Thanks for watching, everybody.